so from your perspective, obviously, um, did it not start the way you were expecting? And um, how do you feel like that has progressed over these first yeah, obviously I didn't want to start to the season wasn't what I expected, what I wanted either. But I'm not really worried about the past. I'm really just worried about going forward, stacking games, and just worrying, just winning games, game by, I mean, game by game, and just doing what I can, the best of my ability for this team. You feel like it's been better in the last couple weeks, and how did you, how did you get to that point? I mean, honestly, just keep my head down, just keep working, applying the technique. I believe in myself, I believe in my technique, and I play for audience of one, so. Um, yeah, no offense, I don't listen to what y'all have to say or the media or anything like that. So, yeah, I just got to keep going and play the game I play. Somebody else can make a mistake or you're going to play and get off the show. Can you feel like that mentality? Yeah. Yeah, that mentality on the island, man, mistakes aren't forgiven out there. So you really got to be honed in on your technique and your eyes and everything that you see because it's unforgiven out there. and. You just got to really be on your, your P's and Q's. I mean, it was good for me to kind of go through that and uh, get a different perspective. Um, yeah, and just keep just keep going forward and just keep balling for real. So what was the lesson, what was the lesson learned there? I mean, what, what did you, what did you learn going through that? Honestly, um, just play to the best of my ability. Don't worry about don't worry about my opponent, um, who's in front of me. It's really just about me and um, play to the level I play and to the, level, the standard here at Ohio State. You know, watching you Saturday, you look you seem to be flowing extremely well with whatever the situation was. Did you feel as good as you felt on a football field this year on Saturday over there? I guess you can say that. Yeah, and, and when you're doing that, what what how are you playing there? What, what what's going through your brain? You know what I mean? Just play by play, do my job and everything's going to work out for the team. Joe, I know uh, you don't want to make excuses and you don't want to look back too much. With you. you have some issues in training camp with the shoulder, then you have the hand issue that pop up in the season. Just not being able to practice seems like maybe maybe we weren't aware of how much that was impacting you. Yeah, man, it's part of the game, man. Just for me, just got to keep, just have a strong mind, just keep going forward and just control the things I can control. And um, yeah, man. How do you have a... I don't know, a greater sense of appreciation for what actually being able to practice means on Saturdays and what have to go and do that. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Cause the way you practice, the way you're gonna play on Saturdays too. And I ain't get, I, I, I wasn't, I didn't have the most reps. I think I had one of the least amount of reps out of the whole corner room yeah. throughout fall camp and the off season. So um, yeah, man. So just being able to be out here fully healthy, I'm happy. What was the harder thing to deal with, shoulder or the hand? What was, what made it? Um, probably my shoulder. About it, but shoulders back healthy now and just ready for the future. Was that just to clarify? Was that something that had lasted from last season? Was that what you heard that season last? Season? No, it happened in the off season. So okay. I think, okay. yeah, it's off season fall camp. What was the the number change? What, what, from oh top yeah, to that and, and why number ten? So like last year, I really just wanted a single digit. Um, I thought I liked it. I did like the five a little bit, but it was just something about me. Is just I wanted to go back to my high school number. I had ten in high school. I really like that number a lot, so I'm just going to stick with that probably for the rest of my time here. Troy Smith, we're number 10 here. Have you talked to him at all about Oops. Troy Smith? No, I have not talked to him yet. Yeah, and I didn't even know he wore 10. Yeah. That's Sir awesome. It's good, good, good <laughs> leg of that. It's quite a stretch. <laughs> um, hey, Denzo, your hand. So. Mm -hmm. Did that happen in practice? I mean, yeah, I, it happened. Just hit the ball out. Next thing you know, my whole joint came off the bone. Yeah. So it's split in half. Um, still recovering, but I'm good. But you were, you were gonna, you were thinking about playing that next week, right? I mean, Wisconsin week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the week I got surgery on. I think it was that Wednesday. Yeah. I had extreme pain game day. I just couldn't do it. I really, I tried to. I put the club on, went out there. It was just hurting too bad. You put the club on. What? Yeah. What? What drives a guy to, to try to play with a basically a reconstruct or not reconstructed but a fixed yeah, I, I surgically love, fixed finger? I love this team. They depend on me. Uh, they trust me. So I, I went out there tried to do the best of my best of my ability to go out there and play with the club on. Just couldn't do it. Do, do you still have pain from that, or do you, or you just deal with it? I mean, I mean, I deal with it. Um, yeah, I, I put the cast on. I'm out there. I'm good. Not to keep dwelling on the injury, but like you're you have a very physical style at corner, it seems. So how, I guess how does you know, your shoulder, your hand, those things affect your ability to bump and run. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so you really just got to, um, throughout the week, you got to try new things, um, try new things with the shoulder, the hand, 
um, coming down on ball, stuff like that. So you really just got to find your way. And it really just, it really just, um, it's based on practice throughout the week and what I do and how I can use my, my body to the best ability. Did you and Jordan lean on each other at all as you were both going through those injuries? Yeah, man, we just got to just keep our head strong. Tell him just keep his head strong. And uh, just keep moving forward. You know, it's part of the game. You got to control what you can control. What's it meant to this defense to get him back in the mix these last mm -hmm. two weeks? Big time, big time deal. Uh, we trust him. We love him. Um, yeah, man. It's awesome to have him back. Can you elaborate a little more on what you saw from him going through the recovery process and kind of how he handled that? Yeah, man. Hamstrings, it's nothing to joke with. It's a, it's a lingering deal. You really got to take your time with that. Um, not rush back too early. Um, and I'm just glad we got him back now. Do you feel it's extremely important because you set your foundation in the off season and what you do in the off season building up to the season is what you're going to do in the game so it's really important to do that and really honing on your technique and the things out there so yeah Yeah, no doubt. Um, the more snaps you play, the more you get adjusted to the game, the flow of the game. Um, and yeah, so. Do you? Say that again? Um, not really. Um, obviously, new scheme, got adjusted a different way. Um, ball's coming out quicker. As you can see, we set a lot of pressures, so the ball's going to come out quick, and uh, you really just got to hold in on your technique. Do you feel last year, and we're like very confidence forward, and that's kind of what led you to have the success you had last year. So when things got a little tough early for you this year, how did you maintain that confidence? Was it hard to maintain that confidence and take that out on the field when things when you were having struggles? Not at all. Um, I believe in myself, and again, I play for audience of one, and um, I have a strong mindset. And um, I know what I can do, and I know what I can do for this team. And um, yeah, that's really it. What is it that you feel like you're maybe you're doing your differently now than you were earlier in the season? Nothing. Um, just keep practicing hard. Obviously, in the beginning of the season, I couldn't practice as much because of the injuries. But um, yeah, just keep just keep going. Do you feel like more confident, or maybe just in a better rhythm now than you were when you were playing those first few games of the year? No, I, I always have the best confidence in myself. Yeah. Is there something you've done the last couple weeks you feel most proud of? Um, huh. <laughs> for, fewer, for, balls, fewer, fewer balls on your way or just? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. But yeah, everything's good though. Do you, do you feel like, you know, going into this, you know, second half of the season that, you know, maybe you're building momentum, that the pass defense can build some momentum here in this last month of regular season? Yeah, man, it's all about just finishing strong. Uh, we got about four more games in the regular season, really hopefully six more games if we could do what we got to do. And, um, yeah, man, just stay the course. Last question. What's it like for corner having Ronnie and Man, I love those guys. I trust them with everything I have. Um, it's nothing better than being out there, being on the field with guys you love and trust to the fullest, and um, knowing they're gonna have your back. So How that's, well are they playing? I mean, you, what you think? They playing awesome. You got to keep going and uh, take it game by game. How did you guys reconcile the performance against Penn State? Like the overall defensive performance, we're still giving up a couple of those like explosive plays. Like you're asking me about the overall performance of our game. Yeah. I feel like the defense as a whole played awesome. Um, I feel like this is our first game we've actually been challenged. Uh, Penn State's a good team. They have a good defense over there. Um, and yeah, it was it was fun. Um, best environment I ever played in. And I feel like this is probably the best game the defense the defense has played with this type of team. You mentioned first time you've actually been challenged. Did you guys need that like a real test? Yeah, we really needed that because the real challenge is going. It's coming in about three more weeks, team up north, so we got that down. Thanks, Denzel. Thanks, Denzel. Thanks, Denzel. Thanks, Denzel. Thanks, Denzel. Thanks, Denzel.